Welcome back, Future Medicos. MCC All India Counseling Round 2 results are available now. The final results are published by MCC yesterday. So in this video, we are going to look at the cutoff marks for deemed universities in round 2. We are also going to compare the round 2 and un round 2 cutoff in terms of All India rank as well as NEED score. Now before going into the details, I want to highlight two important points here. Point number one, all the seats that were available under the management quota or deemed slash paid seats quota, all of them had been allotted in round two. At the end of round two seat allotment, there were no vacancies. The vacancies currently are only in NRI category. I think there are about 162 seats are vacant under NRI category. Now, that does not mean there won't be vacancies in round three for management quota. Please understand, all the seats had been allotted, but still some candidates will decide not to join. And if they decide not to join, those seats will become vacant in round three. Now, please don't worry that 100% seats are allotted. That happened in round one also. Round one also, 100% of the seats were allotted, but subsequently seats were vacant. Now, round three also, there will be seats vacant. And also, if there are any NRA seats vacant, first it will be offered to NRA candidates. And if NRA candidates are not taking, it also will be converted to management quota seats. Now, certainly there will be vacancies. There is no doubt about it. How many vacancies will be there? I have no idea. Maybe roughly around 1,000 seats you can expect, but I'm not sure how many seats are going to be vacant this year because uh, candidates are grabbing the seats like anything. So uh, roughly around 1,000 seats maybe, but we don't know. We have to wait and see. But one thing is for sure. The competition is going to be tougher in round three. So don't expect an easier uh, way in round three. It's going to be tougher. Point number two, there were 55 medical colleges under deemed universities that participated in round one counseling. Out of the 55 deemed universities, only for five medical colleges, the cutoff has come down in round two. Only for five medical colleges. For 50 medical colleges, the cutoff has increased. So it has become tough to get into deemed universities in round two. 50 medical colleges, out of 55, 50 medical colleges, the cutoff has increased. In spite of two more medical colleges added in round two, still the cutoff for 50 medical colleges has increased. So please understand in the future, like somebody watching in 2025 or 2026, please understand for deemed universities, round one is a safer route. Round one, it is easier to get a better college with a lower score, whereas in round two and round three, it will become more and more tough. Now, with that introduction, let me get into the actual details for this video. Okay, so we are going to look at the deemed slash paid seats quota or normally known as management quota. So, I am going to compare the round one All India rank, round one need score, round two All India rank and round two score, right? All the four I have shown for your reference. Now, let's start with the topmost medical college. So, the scores are arranged in terms of descending uh, scores based on round two allotment. So I have uh, arranged them based on round two allotment and not based on round one allotment. So round two, if you see once again, KMC Manipal uh, remains at the top. Uh, once again, right, um, the uh, cutoff has increased from 40,000 All India rank uh, to 39,600. So roughly about 500 ranks it has gone up. In terms of need score, it's more or less the same. Okay, anyway, the scores are rough, right? Roughly uh, 635. I do not know exactly what is the score of 39,624. It could be 636, it could be 634. But roughly, I have uh, taken the data, it is 635. Exact score, I do not know, okay? But the All India rank is exact because that is taken from MCC uh, allotment. But the score, based on the data available, I tried to match and get a, a nearby score. So 635 is roughly. So in terms of score, I don't see an increase or decrease. But in terms of All India rank, it has come down by 500 ranks. Now that's what I have shown as a red dot. Red dot means the cutoff has increased, right? Danger, kind of, right? If you see a green dot, that means the cutoff has come down. So you can see in the top 10 medical colleges, only for one medical college, the cutoff has come down. All the other colleges, the cutoff has increased. Okay, KMC Manipal from 40,258 
it has come down to 39,624. Symbiosis Medical College from 53,248, it has increased to All India rank 50,300. About 3,000 ranks it has increased. So in terms of need score, it has increased from 622 to 625 marks. Then the third medical college, KMC Mangalore, the cutoff has increased from 618 to 622. Hamdar, this is the only medical college where the cutoff has slightly dropped. Slightly, it's not a lot, but about a thousand ranks from 53,600. It has dropped to 54,700. In terms of neat marks, only one mark, 621 to 620. Manipal Tata Medical College, the closing score is 610 marks, which is an increase of 14 marks from round one. Rural Medical College, Pims Loni, has increased by 30 marks from 554 to 584 marks. JSS Mysore, 3 marks increased to 565. MGM Navi Mumbai, Kamoti, it has um, increased to 556 marks, which is like 41 marks increase from round 1. JLN Belagavi closed at 553. MGM Aurangabad closed at 549. It is almost like 60 marks increase. So those are the top 10 colleges. Let's look at the college from 11 to 20. IMS Bhuvaneshwar Campus 2. IMS Pulnakara. This is a new medical college. Probably it's attractive because of the fee structure. Uh, it also has increased from 521 to 547 marks, which is a quite high cutoff for a new college. All India rank 1,40,000. MGM Vashi closed at 542 marks. KSEG Day Mangalore closed at 538, which is almost same as uh, round one. MGM Nerul, uh, which is a new medical college, closed at 534 marks, which is a huge increase from round one. Almost like 100,000 ranks it has increased. Kalinga Bhubaneshwar closed at 521. SDU Kolar closed at 515. JG Triple MC closed at 508 marks. IMS Bhubaneshwar closed at 505. BLDE Bijapur closed at 504. Sri Siddhartha Tumkur closed at 484 marks. At number 21, we have SBKS at Gujarat, uh, which closed at 466 marks. Yenipoya Mangalore closed at 463. This is only for the general category I'm talking about. I'm not talking about the Muslim minority here. 463 marks. DY Patil Kolapur closed at 458. BV Deemed University Pune closed at 453. Still Lalita Bigai Medical College closed at 452. Uh, this is in terms of closing score. Lalita Bigai is the highest in Tamil Nadu. Uh, this is mainly because of again the fee structure. So from 298, it has jumped up to 452 marks. A huge jump, almost like uh, 350,000 All India rank it has increased. Amrita Faridabad closed at 442. This is one of the rare colleges where the cutoff has decreased by 6 marks. Siddhartha T. Begur closed at 436 marks. SRMC or Sri Ramachandra Medical College, uh, which charges 30 lakhs per year. And surprisingly, the cutoff is quite high. From round 1 to round 2, there is a small drop. About 6 marks it has dropped. Amrita Kochi, again, a college where the cutoff has dropped from 458 to 424. So the colleges where the cutoffs have dropped, it's not by too much. Uh, like uh, Hamdad, I think one mark. Uh, Amrita Faridabad by six marks. Uh, Ramachandra also by six marks. Only Amrita Kochi slightly has dropped close to about 30 marks. It has dropped. Other colleges, the cutoff has dropped by very, very little margin. Krishna Karat has closed at 411 marks. At number 31, we have Savita Medical College, where the cutoff has again increased by nearly 100 marks to 404. JR Medical College, which is a new medical college just starting this year, and also the cutoff has increased by nearly 100 marks. Raja Rajeshwari Bangalore closed at 402. MM Institute Mullana closed at 397. This is the fifth medical college where the cutoff has slightly dropped from 416 to 397. Malaridi Institute of Medical Sciences, this is the new medical college just starting in round two. Uh, of course, this is not a new medical college. It has a new status. Earlier, it was a private self-financing medical college. Now, it is converted to the deemed status and it has closed at 381 marks. 
D.Y. Patil Navi Mumbai closed at 376. Datta Mega Nagpur closed at 372. B.V. Deemed University Sangli closed at 362. Graphic Kira, which is a new medical college, closed at 361. JLN Varda closed at 359 marks. At number 41, again we are looking at Mallaredi Medical College for women. This is a women's only medical college under deemed university. Of course, it was not part of round one. In round two, it closed at 356 marks. D.Y. Patil Pune closed at 330 marks. Meenakshi Medical College in Tamil Nadu closed at 325 marks. SRM Medical College closed at 314 marks. Geetam Institute in Andhra Pradesh closed at 310. Santosh Medical College Ghaziabad closed at 305. ACS Medical College closed at 295. Wales Medical College closed at 295. Chettinad Medical College closed at 294. Vinayaka Missions Karekal closed at 286 marks. At number 51, we have Vinayaka Mission Salem, which closed at 271 marks. Arupade Vidu Medical College closed at 260. Mahatma Gandhi Medical College, Puducherry closed at 248. Sri Balaji Medical College in Chennai closed at 211. Bharat Medical College in Chennai closed at 208 marks. Sri Satya Sai Medical College in Tamil Nadu has closed at 201 marks. Sri Lakshmi Narayana Institute Puducherry closed at 186 marks. So 186 marks is the closing score for deemed universities in round two. In round one, it closed at 135 marks, whereas in round two, it is closing at 186 marks. As an overall, the cutoff has increased by about 50 marks. Uh, the overall All India rank is about 10,36,000. All the seats had been allotted Round 3 is also going to be competitive, but round 3, there will be vacancies. Don't worry that there won't be vacancies. There will be vacancies, but it's going to be very tough. Uh, so if you have some other choices, please take it. Don't wait for round 3. If you are waiting for round 3 and you are expecting the cutoffs to drop a lot, it may not drop a lot. It may drop for a few colleges, but don't expect too much of a drop. So I hope that information is useful to you. Thank you. Bye-bye.